folks, and welcome to Orient TV. My name's Olivia, and I'm joined by Signa. Mm -hmm. Today we are going to be cooking, and what are we going to be cooking today? Well, our first dish is going to be onion ring, onion ring guacamole, and our second dish is going to be edible cookie dough. Okay, so how so. do we start off with the onion rings? So the first step is to make the guacamole. So you'll have to have avocado. Okay. So we're going to cut two avocados, and yeah, make sure they're ripe and get the pit out. Okay, yeah. And then you can scoop these and okay. put it into a mixing bowl. Yeah. So did you have any uh, avocado or any avocado themed dishes for your Super Bowl party? No, I did not. I'm not a fan of avocado. Oh, but sorry. we had a lot of we had a lot of a uh, salsa, but that's good. No avocado. Mm. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah, so this is a perfect dish, I guess, <laughs> to make for your, your hubby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, just smush it in there. <laughs> Throw the pit out. Okay. Okay. And then you'll have to, like, mush the avocado. Mash it all yeah, up. Yeah, mash it all up. That's the best you can. And don't be scared of brown spots. It's just really ripe. It's okay. <laughs> Unless there's, like, fungus, I guess. You can be worried. I don't know. Um... And now, what do you add next? We're going to squeeze half a lime. And yeah, you can use your muscles and try mm -hmm. to avoid putting seeds in it and like the hairy the thing. The hairy <laughs> things. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Yeah. Next, we're going to be adding one cup of diced tomatoes. And do you just mash these in with the yeah. avocado? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like toss it in, yeah. Okay. And then you'll put two cloves of minced garlic. They're pre cut because. If I did it on yeah, <laughs> if I did it on live camera, I'd cut my finger. <laughs> yeah. Then putting one fourth cup of cilantro. Make sure you wash them. Okay. That's good enough. <laughs> then one teaspoon of salt. Okay. You might not be mashing this thing, <laughs> but it's fine. Raining salt. A lot of yeah. sodium. Yeah. <laughs> this is fairly healthy, I think. Healthier than like. Yeah. There's some greens in it. Yeah. We got some greens and reds. It's healthier than those cheese dip things. <laughs> and half a teaspoon of chili pepper. Powder, not pepper. <laughs> is it? Is this guacamole a little spicy? Yeah, it's spicy. Okay. Yeah. So, it's for all my spicy lovers. <laughs> Wow, this actually looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might try guacamole now. You should. Okay, so what Kay. do we do next? So next, we are going to chop up some onions, about three onions, and we're going to make them into onion rings, so try, them, try to make them into like circles. So what is your favorite food? I actually do love onion rings. I oh just don't goodness. prefer the guacamole. <laughs> but yeah, onion rings are one of mm -hmm. my favorites. With like a good like honey mustard yeah. dip. Or chicken fingers. Mm -hmm. Anything unhealthy and fried, which is why this is perfect that we're frying yeah. it. Yeah. So, oh yeah, by the way, while you're doing this, you should probably heat up your stove and oil so you get it nice and warm for your onion rings. And what do you put it on? Do you put it, what heat temperature do you put it um, on? Medium. Okay. Yeah, just may, let it simmer. Okay. Until it like. Until it bubbles. bubbles. Yeah. And have parent supervision. <laughs> yeah, don't want to burn yourself. Yeah. Get some third degree burns. Yeah, be careful with the knife. Do you need to take like, do you take this part out right yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, I and then see. you see these like ring things. Yeah, you kind of like separate them and you okay. make these onion rings. Okay. And then what you I should do cook. is you take a baking pan or some kind of flat surface 
and you'll just place the circles onto the pan. Oops. Should you only use the big ones, or can you also use the small You can ones? use the little ones. Okay. It doesn't matter. Baby size. Yeah. For like your little sister or something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And my eyes are starting to water here a little yeah. bit. It's okay. I can't get this onion off. It's okay. It's fine. I think we'll be good with two. Okay. Yeah. So what's your favorite? Where's your favorite place to get onion rings? I like Red Robin. The wood shop in Clarkston. Oh, I've never they heard have the best that. onion rings and the best okay. onion ring sauce. That's oh. my favorite. I get it all the time. I've heard there's like special sauce for onion rings. Yeah, I don't even know what is in the sauce, yeah. but it's a good sauce. And their mac and cheese is delicious as well. Mm, yeah. yeah, their mac and cheese is to die for. I, I literally get those same two things every single time, so. So what do you like to cook at home? Uh, I actually just made grilled cheese earlier today, which is one of my favorites. That's <laughs> such a delicate, <laughs> what you call it? Not delicate. Delicacy? Delicacy, yeah, that's the word. My <laughs> eyes are just, <laughs> I didn't think onions uh. would affect me this much. Oh. Well, it's okay. Oh. That one just <laughs> kind of break apart. Okay. Be careful while cutting the onions. Make sure they don't. Yeah, this is good. Okay, this is good. Okay, you can kind of like move these to the side. Okay. So now you can place the guacamole inside of the space. Okay. And make sure it's full. So, yeah. Let's start with some mm -hmm. of these smaller ones. Make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> yeah. Wow, these onions are still really. <laughs> I didn't think it. I yeah. I don't cook that often, so I didn't think onions were gonna affect me like that. They're really strong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not crying. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. I, don't know. I have contacts in too, so I don't know why oh, it's God. not affecting me. Yeah. Am I doing this okay? Do yeah, I need yeah, to that's be putting good. more in? Oh, that's good. Yeah, just make sure you fill up the hole and. Yeah. I'm gonna grab another yeah, one. Yeah, Okay. And after you fill all these in, you'll just place it in the fridge until they become hard. So that they're not goopy and stuff. And you'll be able to fry them. The fridge or the freezer? I mean the freezer. The what freezer? Yeah, what's does that? It, does it not really matter or, as long as they're hard? Yeah. So I would think the freezer, yeah. Okay. <laughs> My eyes are still <laughs> watering. <laughs> I didn't think that this is kinda bad. Onions would Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? It's coming up this <sighs> Sunday. I have an yeah. exam the next day, so. Oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, me and my boyfriend plan on cooking at home and studying for an exam and then watching The Walking Dead. So oh. that's how I like to spend my Valentine's Day, and I'm A-OK -okay with that. That's good. Fun fact, Stephen Young graduated from my high school. Is he in The Walking Dead? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know the real names. <laughs> it's it's the Glenn guy. Oh really? Yeah. Oh that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So once you're done with this, you just put it in the fridge. I mean the freezer. And then through magical TV magic. What comes out? The frozen onion rings. Yay. Okay. So as you can tell, they're fro frozen. Now we can clear up our space a little bit. <laughs> ah. okay. okay. So, what's next? Is it the breading? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to have about two cups of breadcrumbs, about two cups of flour, and about two eggs. And you might want to crack the eggs first. That's a good idea. Oops. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Don't get any shells in. Yeah, where's the fork? I'll grab it. Oh, okay. 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 Do you whisk the yeah. eggs? Yeah, you just whisk the eggs together. Okay, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna have a special guest, my dad, come over and make sure this is ready. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so you're gonna take. You need to turn the heat up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, just turn up the bacon. Okay. Okay. So adjust the heat if it's not warming mm -hmm. up. Make sure it bubbles. So basically, you'll be taking an onion, onion ring and you'll roll it in some flour, and then some egg. Okay, so flour first, egg, then the egg, and then the breadcrumbs, and then the breadcrumbs. Yes. Okay. And then. So, you just do as so. Do you have any plans this Valentine's Day? Um, no, actually. No? No. School on Monday? Yeah. No, no, I actually don't. You don't? No, oh, I don't. lucky you. Yeah, I don't know why. But I'm not <laughs> complaining. <laughs> I think it's President's Day. Oh, no. lucky you. Uh, yeah, once you're in college, you don't really get days like that off. You don't? No. Aww. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Do you get snow days? <laughs> Every now and then. Okay. Fingers get very dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good recipe for kids because they yeah. can get their hands dirty. Okay. Yeah. Flour first. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, I just keep on wanting to go egg first. That's what I thought. <laughs> but apparently, you do flour first. Well, I guess it's because it like. I don't actually don't know why. <laughs> Now, do you like guacamole? Is that why you chose this recipe? Yeah, I love or? I love guacamole and I okay. love onion rings. Okay. And once I found out you could combine the two, okay, I you was were like, my, yeah. this is gonna be my favorite food. Yeah. Now, do you want to talk about some of the sauces we have right oh, here? Oh yeah, this recipe will good with like any sauce, but I really like ketchup and sriracha sauce because I really like spicy food. Okay. So yeah, or you could even use Tabasco sauce. There's chipotle Tabasco sauce. Okay. Anything wow. chipotle is Like good. I said, uh, honey mustard, my favorite. Yeah, honey mustard. That's a good one. Okay, I think this will be enough. Okay. Okay, is the oil ready? No, the oil's not ready. Uh, okay, we can continue making more. We still <laughs> okay. have, a, have a lot. And if you see, um, once you freeze it, the guacamole actually like stays in yeah. the onion ring. Mm -hmm. So it's not like all yeah. It's everywhere. not all like really goopy or anything. Mm -hmm. My fingers are just like <laughs> I'm breadcrumbing <laughs> my fingers at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how's life? Oh, it's going pretty good. Like I said, school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard you had an assignment. Yes, I have yeah. a paper. Oh, yeah, college. It's not fun, but it's an argumentative paper, and I love to argue, so mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe I'll do good. I need to, I'm breadcrumbing my fingers. <laughs> yeah. So maybe gloves should be recommended, yeah, or gloves, eyewear. Apron, a gas mask. Wait, those onions. Full they, body I told suit. you, they were very, my eyes were very sensitive yeah. to that. Okay. Do you maybe want to start on our second recipe while we're yeah, waiting, waiting for, for the, the oil? Okay. Okay, now let's finish this one. Yeah, I'll, move, I'll move these out of yeah. your way. Now the next recipe, the edible cookie dough, is really useful for um, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah, because who doesn't, who, have you ever like eaten like cookie dough, yes. but like you feel bad because there's No, I don't it? feel bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, because I don't want to get sick. I don't believe it. <laughs> no. Like Nestle, like recalled like so much cookie dough. Really? Yeah, because people would just be eating tons and tons of it. Yeah, but I do. I don't. I don't have <laughs> yet, so we're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, so yeah. So you will have to get white chocolate chips. Can you use brown if you want it? Yeah, you can use brown or milk. I yeah. Guess. Well, this. Brown. Um, I'm making a birthday cake edible cookie dough. Okay. So that's the theme of this. Okay. You'll need some applesauce. Applesauce, that's yeah. interesting. Some nutmeg. You'll need one and a half cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> and then one teaspoon of salt. Yeah, teaspoon of salt. The recipe. And we'll need vanilla extract. Two sticks of unsalted butter. A lot of butter. Yeah. Rainbow sprinkles. 
an all-purpose flower. The bowl. Okay. Okay. So the first step is to get room temperature butter and just plop it in there. Oh, yum. Yeah. Butter and sugar make everything better. <laughs> that really nice. Sugar and spice make everything nice. Oh, yeah. Powder puff girls. <laughs> I love the powder puff girls. Yeah. Okay, what's after the butter? Next, we're gonna be adding our one teaspoon of salt. So you can control the salt. <laughs> okay. It seems a lot easier if you already have these pre-bagged and sweated yeah. out other than just dumping mm -hmm. them in there. Then you kind of mush it, like the guacamole. Okay. Would it be easier to use a fork to like? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit yeah. easier. So, what's your favorite type of cookie? Chocolate chip or sugar cookies. Those yeah. snick, those snickerdoodle cook, snickerdoodle cookies. cookies. Yeah. That um, my grandma makes them every Christmas, mm -hmm. and so they're Christmas like festive. Mm -hmm. And then she'll give me a bag home to take home to my apartment, and That's everyone good. loves them. I like the Girl Scout cookies, the Samoas, oh, yeah, the those are good. coconut chocolate thingy. Yeah, and Girl yeah. Scout is actually, they're about to, like, their cookies are going to be on for sale again soon, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah, all those Girl Scout cookies are good. <laughs> they're so good. Did you know Boy Scouts sold popcorn? Yeah, I did know I that. I did not know that. Yeah, I did. I'm not a popcorn person, though. I li like I, I said, anything yeah. unhealthy. I occasionally like popcorn. Like, I like the kettle corn or the sweet and salty ones. Uh-huh. Have you heard of the... Boom Chicka Pow. No, I haven't. What is it? Is it a popcorn? <laughs> yeah, it's a. It's a That's a type of popcorn? It's, it's the brand of the popcorn, Boom Chicka Pow. Boom Chicka Pow. Okay. Yeah, and it comes in like colorful packaging. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's fun, then. They have, fan, they have like festive. pumpkin spice and like s'mores <laughs> and all these cool flavors. Pumpkin spice, very basic. Yeah. And actually, the fork worked yeah. quite well. After that, you'll put your one and a half cup of sugar. Kind of dump it in there a little bit at a time, I guess. Okay, we're gonna go back to our guacamole recipe and put it to heat to medium. Okay, what's after the sugar? Um, we'll still have to dump some more sugar in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be really sweet. It's birthday cake. That's true. Yeah. It's birthday cake, ice cream, birthday cake, everything. You're really gonna need to put your shoulder yeah. into this. Well, you, after eating all this, I think you can put like That's a little true. bit of That's workout. That's true. It's true. Like a little bit. Just a shoulder workout, but it's <laughs> yeah. better than no workout. Yeah. Here. Okay. Will this work? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Kind of. Ugh. I mean, even like those electric, oh yeah, those electric mixer things will work. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I mean. Those are expensive. Yeah, plus I feel better after I have a hard yeah, but workout. Like you said, the workout. Yeah, and, and then for you, college students, yeah. I, can't, I can't afford a mixer. Is the freshman 15 true? Yes, very true. I told you, I eat grilled oh, cheese <laughs> and chicken yeah. tenders and onion rings. and. Fun fact, I tried to be healthy one day and I tried to make cauliflower pizza. So you like mash up cauliflower and then you put like coconut powder and flaxseed instead of egg and make the dough. Uh -huh. And then we put it in the oven for like three hours and it didn't bake and was still mushy. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what you get for being healthy. It didn't work out. Yeah. And then I made kale chips and they burnt. <laughs> well, I tried. I tried. You tried. Do we need to dump the rest of the sugar? Yeah. Yeah. Duh. You can just put all of it. Just, yeah. At least this doesn't make my eyes water. Yeah. <laughs> it makes my eyes hungry. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar and butter. Okay. So what's your favorite healthy recipe? Gosh, I have to think. <laughs> well, my dad has made plantains that he fries. Oh, those are good, yeah. And then he puts honey and cinnamon on them. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my favorites. 
And I'm, like I said, I'm not a big healthy eater, so mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a nice, and it's easy for me to make in my apartment, you know, like it's a nice healthy yeah. snack, and it's actually very rich. It's not like as, you know, bland as you think it would be. It's a very rich snack, mm -hmm. so it's quite delicious. Okay, I think the oil is ready for frying. Okay. Okay, so while I mash up this sugar and butter. Okay. We're gonna slowly drop. We're gonna slowly drop the onion rings and fry it. Should I put more than one in? Okay. And in the meantime. And make sure you check, because these actually cook quite fast. Yeah. And wow. be careful not to spill the oil on yourself, because it's really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough. Right. We can do, can we do the rest? I'll do a couple more. Okay. Well, yeah. <sighs> this is nerve wracking. Oh, I got this. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm doing the frying. I'm mixing. Uh, oil scares me. It's actually, you just have to stay back. Something that makes and that utensil, loud of a noise. This utensil, I'm actually going to show this to them because this oh, yeah. is perfect. My mom had it. Your mom knows what she's doing. Yeah. See, my parents are good cooks, but the problem is they never taught me. I and every time say. I was in the kitchen, <laughs> they yell at me. So Make sure you turn the oven off and don't touch the oil for a while yeah. because it is a hot item. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, this utensil is very well, be nice. Careful not to put on your skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's nice and long, and then this round utensil helps um, move the onion rings very easily. Yeah. And this is the finished product. And then here you have it, guacamole onion nice. rings. Yay. Then you have your dipping sauces. Yay. Looks quite good. You can put that on the side. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can feel the sugar in yeah. all this. <laughs> okay, now back to the cookie dough. Now back to the cookie. Next, you want to put one fourth cup of applesauce, which is usually where you would put egg. But since this is edible cookie dough, you want something that's not going to make you sick. So we put applesauce. That's true. And it's also a healthier option. That is, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. do you see all the sugar we put in here? <laughs> it's better than it's, yeah. egg, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so you'll have to put one fourth cup. Sauce. And juice. Oops. Oh, Sorry. it's okay. You just mix this along. Then yeah. after that, you'll put one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. Oh. <laughs> such a struggle. And make sure you double check and make sure it's open. Yeah. Once the applesauce is in here, it mixes so yeah. much better. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Mm. Sometimes you have to eyeball it. <laughs> I think that's good. That takes cooking expertise. Yeah. But yeah. And then you'll put one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Make sure you don't put a lot. Because those kind of taste weird. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want it to be too yeah. vanilla -y. Although vanilla is my favorite scent. It smells so good. I love, yeah. I can smell it right now. So much better than cutting up the onions. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to put two cups of all purpose flour. The 
this already looks so delicious. Yeah. Be careful with the flour. Yeah, it gets all over yourself. Probably on my nose, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Maybe use a little bit bigger of a bowl <laughs> than we're using. Yeah. But you know, you yeah. live, you learn. <laughs> Oops. I'm making such a mess. Okay. Uh, That's what cooking is. Cooking is a mess. Yeah. See why I only make grilled cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to squeeze over here. And then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I think it's, it's a mixing yeah, well. It's, it's, a, it's a mixing well, yeah. It just takes a while. Yeah, yeah you really yeah. have to knead it. Like, yeah. like you're making bread. Okay. Now you're going to add one cup of white chocolate chips. Probably open these before you cook. Okay. Oh, you got it. Just, like dab a little in. Okay. And eat one. <laughs> and then some white, some sprinkles. That again has a seal thing. And there goes your birthday cake. Edible cookie dough. And then you just mix until... Yeah. You can, like, make this into different varieties. Like, you can add, like, birthday cake Oreo, if you want to add more sugar, and, like, mush them in there. Or okay. white frosting to make it look like a birthday cake. And you can, like, scoop them up into, like, look like ice cream and put vanilla ice cream on them. So then you just pretty much just scoop it yeah. into a ball. Yeah. And you can eat it. Or you can eat it with a spoon. Oh, you know? really? You can just eat it with a spoon right Yeah, it's edible. Mm. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. There you have it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us, folks. Yeah. We thoroughly enjoyed cooking all of this, <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed watching us. Maybe you can enjoy making some of this at home. And thank you so much for watching Orion TV.